Friday, which means it's purse sale day. I'm Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and we're going to sell some purses today. In addition to that, I have shoes and a mystery purse box from America's Thrift Supply. So I've had a couple people um, ask me over the past couple of days that if I still have a code for America's Thrift Supply, yes, I do. So through the end of the year, okay, until December 31st, you can use my code Kristen at checkout on americasthriftsupply.com and it will save you 15% off every and any purchase you make now until the end of the year, okay? I, once the end of the year comes, I will ask if I can, um, you know, extend my code, but for now it's to the end of the year, 15% off if you use the word Kristen at checkout for 15% off. You have to make sure you spell it right. Okay, so um, purses and shoes today. Um, first things first, we're gonna do the clearance section. So if you're interested in anything you see in the video, you need to email me please at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Down below in the description box, you can open it up and you will see all my information and all the instructions on how to order. So please include the timestamp that um, you know you see an item that you would like, including a brief description so I can make sure that your timestamp matches up with what I'm seeing um, and I make sure I invoice you for the correct item. Um, shipping's not included in the prices that you hear. That will be uh, based upon your location and the weight of the items. And please give your packages some extra time. It is holiday season, so from now till the end of the year, packages will be delayed. So please keep that in mind and give your sellers and your postal workers a little bit extra patience for the next month or two, okay? Well, I should say the next two months. Um, so keep that in mind, and if you... Um, haven't received your packages, uh, do not contact your sellers. They do not have any control over that. You have to contact the Postal Service, okay? USPS.com, you can file a missing package claim or contact them um, if there's another issue going on, okay? So um, also check the sold list. So down below in the comment section, so where everybody comments, you just scroll up, you'll see that. The very top comment will be the sold list. Make sure you're checking that before you email me and make sure when you're done watching the video that you refresh the video so you'll see the most up-to-date sold list. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. Let's get started with the clearance section. And first up is the lovely Margot. This is the black butter leather crossbody or it could be a longer shoulder bag depending on how you like to wear it. So you have the black leather uh, the turn lock with the little pocket in the front, back, and the corners had super, super minimal wear. Um, very nice condition, butter leather. It does have a zipper closure on the top. And then your interior is like so, with a zipper and slip. So this lovely is going to be dropped to $35. Okay, then we had the Fossil. This is another crossbody or longer shoulder bag. Um, it is that like canvas material, that coated canvas that Fossil likes to do. It is like, a, it's a little bit of an off-white with black polka dots and then the brown leather handle. So you do have a pocket here in the front. You have a zipper in the back. And you had just a teeny little bit of wear on the corners. And then it is a zipper closure on top. You have your key, fossil key hang tag. And then the interior has your fossil on that side with the zipper and your slip there. All right, so this one we are dropping to $30. And remember guys, I go through the um, clearance section purses a little more quickly because they've already been shown in last week's video. So if you want to see them a little bit more in detail, check last week's video and um, that should be, that should work. Um, so next one, we're going to do the Anne Klein. So this was the one that had um, the tag. However, it had two little flaws on the back. Um, it had a little pen mark here and um, where was the other mark? A little yellow mark there. It is faux leather, 
It is like a creamy ivory color. Other than that, the purse is fine. You have the pocket in the back. Um, and then the interior, you have the zipper closure, polka dot interior with a zipper and slips. Okay, so this one, you guys, I'm dropping it to $15, okay? 15 bucks, price tag says 69, but it has the two little marks on the back, okay? So just keep that in mind, 15 bucks and it's yours. Oh, and I forgot to mention, ah, I still have two mystery boxes available, mystery purse boxes. I will put that in the beginning of the video along the bottom because I forgot to say it. I have, I made up my own mystery purse boxes. I have two left. One has the um, five purses with one of the one of them being designer uh like michael kors coach stuff like that and then the other one is the seven purse box so that one is um it does not have a designer like coach or michael kors etc but it does have higher end purses but because it's not like a specific designer like coach and michael kors i put seven in that box and they are both a hundred dollars each shipped so there's no shipping on that one, but if you order a mystery box and um, other purses from the video, I have to send them separately. So I will mail out your mystery box um, for $100 shipped, and then I will um, mail out your other purchases with shipping, but I will put it all on one invoice. Um, so you'll, you know, I'll just send it separate because I'm not gonna charge you shipping on the $100 box. Okay, so sorry about that, totally forgot, but it will be along the bottom of the screen in the middle, beginning of the video and also in the description box. Okay, so we did the Anne Klein. Next up we have is the Brahmin. So this was the purple leather snake skin, um, snake print crossbody or longer shoulder bag. And it was like a cute little crossbody. Um, it has the Brahmin, even the, the plate here is in really good condition. Um, the back, you have a pocket. Okay, it was a very, very, very nice condition. You pop this open. You have a pocket here in the very front. And then when you open up the main compartment, you have your Brahmin, your zipper, and your slip. Okay, excellent condition on this one. And we're going to drop it to $50. Okay, guys, $50. Next up, we had the MZ Wallace, which this purse brand goes for a, a lot of money. You guys look it up, okay? MZ Wallace. It is the silver with the um, gray, like silvery gray studded crossbody or longer shoulder strap. You have a zippered compartment here in the front, a zippered pocket in the front, and you have the same zippered pocket in the back. The condition on this is absolutely amazing, and it has a zipper um, compartment, zipper closure on the top, and your interior is immaculate with the MZ Wallace that is leather, and the um, slips right here. So this bag, these bags go for over a hundred dollars used. Um, depending on the size, obviously, I think I have one or two listed on Poshmark and eBay for like $150 and it's a little bit bigger than this though. So I'm going to drop this one to 65. Okay. okay. Next up we had the Vera Bradley. This was the black one. It is a crossbody, but you can adjust it to be a shoulder bag. Super cute, like little baguette, black with the really bright color florals. Excellent, excellent condition. You have the Vera Bradley on the pull. Zipper closure, and then your interior is blank with Vera Bradley everywhere. So this little one, we're going to drop to $20. All right, and then next up we had the Steve Madden. So this is the like green, like army green um, faux leather. It's got the top handle and also a removable larger um, crossbody or shoulder strap. Really cool gunmetal hardware. You got the, you know, like the rivets here, 
You got a nice uh, faux suede tassel. You have these little tassels on the bottom. There's your Steve Madden there. Excellent, excellent condition. I think it's new without tag, um, but it just had, it did have a light little mark right there. You could barely see it, but um, other than that, I, I don't think it was, I mean, if it was used, it was just used that one time. Really nice Steve Madden with the zipper and your slips. So now these you can um, undo and make the purse bigger, I think. Cause see how it's cinched in there? So really cool purse, unique, and we're gonna drop it to $35. All right, then we had the little fossil crossbody, the like kind of denim style with the gray leather crossbody handle. And it has this like denim like style pockets in the front. These are working pockets. All right, there was just a teeny little stain right there. Um, excellent on the corners though. A zipper closure on top. There's all your fossil, the fossil card slots, zipper and slip. So this one we're going to drop to $25. Then we had the um, Brighton. So this was the really cute crossbody or longer shoulder strap, depending on how you like to wear it. And it's leather and you have the black leather trim on top. And then this has the snake print with a little bit of um, beige in it. Here's your Brighton hang tag. And the back has the same snake print, but with more of a gray color. See how it's kind of different? And the bottom just has, you know, like some faint little marks. You can even see that. But other than that, it's really nice. You can even remove the handle to make it like a little uh, makeup pouch or a clutch. And then your interior is blank. You have your little Brighton heart there. There's your Brighton tag okay so super cute and we're going to drop this one to thirty dollars um, next up we had the fossil little makeup pouch this was a um, fabric canvas material striped with like a black almost like a black denim print and then you have the pinstripe around Excellent, excellent condition, zipper on the top, and gorgeous white interior. Okay, so this one we're gonna drop to only $10. Then we had the um, Jacques Estrelle. Estrelle. This is a French designer, and it's like a little travel pouch or makeup case um, with the leather little wristlet part, and it has the J-E logo all over it, just a little Dallas hair. Um, excellent, excellent condition. I think this is a vintage little um, clutch or makeup pouch. Here is your label. And we're going to do um, $15 on this one. Okay, next up we had the um, Kate Spade from my Thread Up um, name brand handbag unboxing. Um, this one was probably in the best condition of all of them, and it, this is the, last, it's the one that didn't sell. So um, I did clean it up, and I stuffed it so it looks very nice. It is black leather, like a little um, structured tote. Okay, and then the corners, everything on this one was actually really nice. Um, I didn't really find anything majorly wrong with it. There's just a little spot on the bottom there, but... The handles, everything are great. And then the interior, you have three compartments. So you have the center, which is zippered. Um, here's the back. So there's where your Kate Spade is in the zipper. Then you have the front, which it's a little discolored down there and some slip pockets. And then the center here is zippered. Okay, so really nice. 
would look really great if you work at the office. You know, you can carry, you can put your file folders in here and look all professional. <laughs> so we're gonna drop this one to $40. Okay, and then this, I bought this sold, but the person, I never heard back from them. I sent them the invoice. Um, they, you know, the 48 hour, my 48 hour payment policy um, expired. I sent them a reminder invoice. I waited a whole nother day. I sent them a personal email asking if everything was okay, um, making sure they got my invoice and no answer. So I canceled the invoice and I just wanted to give it one more chance. Uh, this is the Coach Tote, brand new with tags. You guys, brand new with tags. It's $189, right? $198 on the price tag, okay? You have, the, the paper is still on all the pulls and everything. Um, you have your hang tags. It's gorgeous. It's brand new, okay? And we had the beautiful blue interior, zipper closure. So I was selling it at $85, so let's try it again. $85, that's more than half off. All right, so we'll give it one more shot since the person, I don't know what happened. So we'll give it one more shot, $85. Okay, so that wraps up the clearance section. Let's go into the thrifted purse section. And remember to check the sold list down in the comment section. And we're going to start off with the first one, which is a Sharif. So I do really enjoy um, this brand. Sharif makes a lot of really cool purses. This one says original by Sharif. It is not real leather though. It is a crossbody or it can be um, shortened to a shoulder bag. It is a beautiful Kelly green uh, with a snake print and it's kind of like textured. It has a pocket, zippered pocket on the back. This purse is in excellent, excellent condition and you're gonna pop it open. You have a little pocket here in the front and then your main compartment. You have your Sharif there, um, your zipper and slip. Excellent, excellent, excellent condition. Beautiful color, it can be used year round. Um, gold hardware and we're gonna do this one for 40. Then we have a new with tag, makes a great gift. Um, it is a Tommy Hilfiger um, crossbody. So you have the crossbody strap. It can be adjusted a little bit shorter. And it's like a really cool camo, like nylon. You have your hang tag. So you got the blue nylon, then the greenish camo. Super cute, excellent. I didn't see any flaws on it. The um, pull still has the um, plastic. You have a pocket in the front, pocket in the back, zipper closure on top. There's your Tommy Hilfiger little plate, the zipper and slip. Awesome purse, even for like a teenager. Um, so we're gonna do this one. It's new with tag. It doesn't have the price on it anywhere but I'm going to do 40 on it. Okay, then you guys, I found a really pretty Patricia Nash. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, you guys, how gorgeous is this? So it is a crossbody, but you can adjust it. It can actually only go longer than what it is. So either just a longer shoulder bag or crossbody. It is in a gorgeous, like dark purple. There's your Patricia Nash. You have the hang tag right here. All right. You have a pocket here in the back. She does do the suede in, inside. Excellent, excellent, excellent condition. I'm not even sure this was ever worn. Um, you pop open the top here. You have a pocket here in the front. And then your main compartment, so it even comes with the card. Okay, it says the color is plum. 
And then that's that was in the little um, the little slip pocket up here, little zipper pocket. All right, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it smells brand new, so I'm not really sure anyone even carried this, but absolutely stunning, okay? Plum, <laughs> and we're gonna do this for 65, okay? Really cute, awesome, beautiful. Favorite one of the haul. Okay, then we have a Sack and Elliot Luca collaboration. Oh, that looked funny, the, the sun on my head for a second. <laughs> um, this is uh, the Sack and Elliot Luca. And it is a um, fabric, like black and white, with the, this is actually faux leather, which it surprised me because it looks and feels just like leather. Um, but you have the longer handles. It is in excellent, excellent, super excellent condition. <laughs> Zipper closure on the top. And there's your interior. Okay, the sack and Elliot Luca, gorgeous. All right, and this one we're going to do for $30. Next up we have a black, I did find a lot of coach bags. Um, yeah, a lot of coach bags. <laughs> so this is the first one, this is a really pretty coach. It's black leather, you guys, I fixed this one up, it was it was so dirty, I was, and I'm so proud of how it came out. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just a plain black little like tote leather. You have your hang tag here. You have a pocket right up front, back. The bottom does have a little bit of um, markings, not too bad. Very, very, very minor wear on the corners. It really does look excellent. Um, handles are great. Um, the hardware, there's maybe just a couple little, not even, the hardware looks good. And then it is a zipper closure. And, ooh, that made a couple little fuzzies down there from the paper. Uh, brown interior, there's your zipper with your creed and your slips. Super nice, nice um, size as well, medium size, and we're going to do $45 on it. Okay. Then we have a coach, this one. So this one we're gonna do a special price on because it ended up having a little bit more wear than I initially realized. Um, but this is a like silver metallic leather coach. And you have a pocket here up front. You have two of these pockets with the little um, buttons, little snaps. Um, the, the handle is fine. There's just a little bit of like little thread flyaways, which I can, uh, just do that <laughs> and it fixes it. So nice on the handle. The wear is on the corners. So right here, see that? Um, a little bit there, there. Okay. So the metallic was kind of coming off. The back has a couple little of transfer spots like where it came off. I mean, it's not terrible, um, but you guys know me. I always try to bring you guys the best condition bags that I can, and I always try to show you every little thing that I can on it. Um, just keep in mind the bags are used, and I might miss like a flaw or two. So just keep in mind they are used bags. You have a turn lock open, closure, it's like closure. And the interior is brown. There's your creed and your zipper. And there's your slips. So, because, and it does have a very, very slight, like, mustiness to it. I mean, it's not horrible. Like, I have to really, like, sniff it. But I know some people are sensitive to um, certain smells. So because of the conditions of this bag, I'm only going to ask $15. Okay, so 15 on this one. And it's yours. Okay, then we have a coach snake print, gorgeous gray with like the beige it is um, like a textured fabric, textured leather, I should say. <laughs> um, you have your coach hang tag. The, the corners do have a little bit of wear, 
but it kind of blends in with the snake print, but it, there is a little bit. But other than that, the straps are great. Um, you pop it open here, and then there's um, just a little bit of wear on the top here, like the edge. But again, nothing serious, but you guys know I like to try to show you everything. And then it's three sections in inside. There's no closure other than this little flap over with the snap. And your three sections, so you have that with the uh, zipper and creed. The back has your slips. And then the center is zippered. Okay, overall, great condition, minor wear. It is a great looking bag. I mean, it is just the cutest thing ever. And we're gonna do 45 on it. Okay, try to be fair. All right, then we have this beaut. This is like my second favorite of the haul. Look at that. I love it. It is a Safiano leather, or it could just be regular leather, regular leather. Um, beige, white with the teal. You have your hang tag. Um, you have a pocket here up front. Same thing on the back. The corners do have a little bit of wear. Okay, not not bad. And then the back has a couple little marks, see them? And right here. And I think there was one on the front. The little one right there. Okay, so I just wanna let you guys know. Handles are great. Zipper closure. Oh look, I didn't even see that. I thought it was one of the key fobs, but it actually comes out. Maybe I'll keep that for if a wristlet ever needs a handle. Okay, I thought that was the one that connects on the inside to your keys. <laughs> so you have a um, zipper pocket with the Creed and your slips there. So beautiful condition, just a couple little um, corner little wear and those little like bluish marks, but I think it's a really great bag and it is going to be $50. All right, let's put you here. Then we have, um, okay, then we're down here. So we have two more coaches. We have this beautiful like um, beigey tan leather baguette. Super cute little shoulder bag with your um, hang tag, beautiful handle. This one is in really nice condition. There's hardly any wear at all on the corners. Super nice, zipper closure. And you have the tan interior, uh, zipper creed, and nothing on the other side. So super cute little baguette, and we're going to do 30 bucks. Then we have another super cute little, a darker tan color, more, more of a brown. And this is, there's your hang tag. This one has like a little perforated with the regular um, leather corners. Excellent condition on this one. I um, conditioned it and it came out great. I actually conditioned most of these. Um, I was in a conditioning mood. Uh, so this one might be vintage. Uh, you have your Creed printed on the leather there and your zipper. So this one's really cute. You even got like the comfort on the shoulder. So on this little cutie, we're gonna also do, <clears throat> excuse me, we're also gonna do $30. All right, then we have a Dooney and Burke or as my husband says, Dooney and Bork, because that's how he thinks it looks to be spelled, Bork. <laughs> Dooney and Burke, so now every time I see it or wanna say it, I wanna say Bork. <laughs> so um, now I'm passing it on to you, so hopefully now you get stuck with that. <laughs> so here it is, it is brown. It has the uh, leather with the little tassel, the leather handles, and then the fabric purse. Okay, you have the corners. The uh, fabric on the corners are actually really nice. And the bottom, super nice. The back, there's one teeny little scratch right there. And on the front, there's a teeny little scratch right there. 
It is a zipper closure. And then the inside, you have your Dooney there, slips. Here is your serial number. The bottom has the sticker with what the bag is called. There's one little um, stain there. And other than that, it's really nice. So super cute, little brown, kind of like a baguette style. And we're gonna do it for $48. Then we have an Elliot Luca. So this bag I've sold a few times before, the same style. It is a crossbody, or you can shorten it to be a um, shoulder bag. It has the chain detail on one side. It is a gorgeous butter leather. You have um, these two zipper pockets on each side. You have this zipper pocket in the front. The back is blank. The corners are excellent. I actually have the same exact purse in purple on my eBay. So if you're interested in that, you can email me about it and I will do the same or whatever, the, whatever my eBay price is, I'll give you guys like 20% off. Um, it is a zipper closure on top. Black interior, there's your Elliot Luca. They always do the um, contrast pockets. So you have a bright pink pocket, zipper pocket, and then you have your slips there. So gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Remember the one I have on, on my eBay is purple. It's like a bright purple. Um, no, it's like a burgundy. So um, email me if you're interested in that. And this one I'm gonna do for $35. It's the same exact one that's on my eBay. So then I have, okay, so I don't normally pick up Kathy Van Zeeland unless it's like a really like cool, I mean, all her bags are pretty cool, but like, I don't know, it has to like really stick out for me. And this one did it. So check out this. And it is in phenomenal condition, you guys. So it's got this like purple faux suede on it. Here's all your Kathy Van Zeeland tags with the Florida de -lis. And look at the sides, look at this. How gorgeous, it's all faux leather. You have the studs, there's the other side, same thing. The bottom, absolutely gorgeous condition. You have the chain, matte gold tone with the handles, excellent, excellent condition. Um, you have a snap closure and then you have three compartments. So the middle compartment is zippered. So here's the back with the Kathy Van Zeeland. Look how clean that is, you guys. And the zipper. Here's the center compartment that's zippered. And then the back has your slips. I'm, I don't even know if anyone carried this. And if they did, they took excellent care of it. And I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Oh, wait. This goes like that. There we go. Gorgeous. We're going to do $48 on it. It is absolutely stunning. Love it. Third favorite of the haul. <laughs> okay, then we have a B. Mikowski. And let me just grab this other one and bring it up here. So this one is gorgeous. I've never seen any, any of them like this before. It's like a... Um, I guess it's white, but it's not really... It's more like a... I would say ivory it's not pure white okay let's put it that way we have all these really cool um, silver and gold tone hardware these are functioning pockets you can use them you have the signature slip in the back the corners have super minimal wear if any I get I gave this bag a nice cleaning and conditioning and it came out really really nice so hardly anywhere. There's just a little spot on the back here. Where was it? A teeny little spot. Other than that, it's gorgeous. The handles, um, the magnet closure. And then you have three compartments in this as well. The center is zippered. There's your B. Mikowski and your slips and zip. Center zippered pocket and your other side. And this purse is deep, you guys. Oh wait, there's a little pen mark right there. 
nice deep bag, excellent condition, B. Mikowski leather, and we're gonna do $48, okay? Let's put you over there now. Okay, next up we have this purse by Chala. So <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand, but it actually sells for pretty good money and resells for pretty good money. Crossbody, you can adjust it to be a shoulder, shoulder bag and check it out. So it is faux leather. Look at that little kitty. There's the Chala. There is a little mark right there on the label. Red with the brown contrast. Okay, excellent, excellent condition. You have a pocket on the back, pocket on the front, zipper closure on top. There's your interior. Super cute. Okay. So this bag, there's one online on eBay right now, the same exact one, selling for $56, okay? This one, I'm gonna offer to you guys for 40, okay? Super cute. Then we have an Amy Kestenberg, which is a very high-end brand. This, this bag is so cute. So this is also on my list of my favorites for the haul. <laughs> Um, I thought about keeping this one, but I don't need it. So it is a blue uh, suede and leather crossbody or longer shoulder bag. You can adjust it. And you, it has a little bit of the chain detail on the um, strap. You have a leather tassel. Um, it is snake print <clears throat> with the suede. You have a pocket here on the back. This bag, again, is in excellent, excellent condition. Super nice. I even like the little spikies on everything. It was on the thing to adjust it as well. And zipper closure. I stuffed this one really good because I, I didn't want the corners to be puckered or anything. So super nice condition on the inside. There's your zipper with the Amy Kestenberg and your uh, slip. Gorgeous bag, you guys. Love it. And we're going to do it for $50. Okay. Gorgeous. Okay. Flip the page again. Let's do another B. Mikowski. You guys, I love this color. Look at this color. It matches my nails and my shirt. Mm -mm -mm. It is buttery leather. So soft. It is a crossbody or longer shoulder bag. Excellent condition. You guys, I have never seen one like this before. It's so beautiful and it's so, so soft. It is in gorgeous condition. You have a um, turn lock here with a pocket. The back is what I like the most. So you have a little pocket here and then you have a zipper and it's like a little wallet section. How cute is that? So you can have quick access if you would like to get into that kind of stuff. And this part is against your body. So, you know, no one's gonna be able to pickpocket you. So there's that. And then the zipper closure on top. There's your zipper. No slips on this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a lime green. It, the color is coming through true. And we're going to do 40 on it. I love it. So many good ones that I like in this haul. <laughs> okay, then we have a Tianello. You guys, look how nice this one is. I've never seen one like this one. So a lot of um, really great styles I was able to find for you guys. Um, this is a shoulder bag, probably crossbody as well. Um, a beautiful pebbled uh, brown leather. These are functioning zippered pockets. Okay, nothing on the back. Beautiful condition, you guys. Like, like new condition. It's absolutely stunning. Zipper closure. There's your interior. Your zipper and slips and little card slots, okay? Absolutely gorgeous. I really like the style. And we're going to do it for 45 
All right, then we have a Juicy Couture tote. Look at this thing. Beach tote, gym tote, work tote, baby tote, <laughs> baby bag. Um, anything bag, reusable grocery bag. It is a fabric. I did wash it with um, stain uh, remover because the edging kind of was a little discolored. It still is a teeny little bit, but it's very hard to notice. You have the juicy across here. Okay, it's beautiful. I love this one. Um, and it has a magnet closure. I had to stuff this one a lot. <laughs> There's your zipper and the slip pocket. You have your juicy tag down there. All right, so it's nice and clean and washed and stain removed as best as I could. Nice big tote, and we're gonna do this one for 30 bucks. All right, then we have, ba -ba -ba, we have all the littles now. So we have a Hobo International, the green. <laughs> We have a Hobo International leather um, clutch. And it has the little, um, it's like a brass tone ring here with the little bow. The back does have a little mark right there. But other than that, it's beautiful. So you pop it open. You have a zippered pocket here. A little ID spot if you would like. And then the top is zippered your little hobo and your interior is gorgeous okay so this one we're going to do $30 then we have a Kuba Kuba makes really great bags um, especially if they're leather I know they do non leather ones as well this is again another little um, clutch it is a um, I would say it's like a gold, like a dark gold metallic with the um, antiqued gold, almost like brass tone. Okay, there's your Kuba on the back. Um, I think, I don't think this had any, oh yeah, right here, there's a little mark right there. So you're gonna pop this guy open and there's a zipper up here. There you go. Gorgeous little clutch. Oh, I didn't do the, um, oh, well, the phone obviously can fit in that one. It's big enough. Let's just see because it's a zipper, not a, I have like the biggest phone in the world. Yep, it fits, we're good. So this one, I'm going to ask $18. Then we have a Juicy Couture wristlet. This is faux leather. And it is just black and gorgeous and in like new condition. You have the handle. It's not removable. You have a front zippered section and then the top zippered compartment with the zipper. Okay, gorgeous. And we're gonna do it for 15. Then I have a Tom Ford um, sunglass case. It's got fuzzies on it. It is brown suede. There is some wear to it, I'm not gonna lie. I picked it up um, because I just thought maybe somebody could use it. Okay, the inside's really nice though. So if you guys would like a brown suede um, sunglass case, don't mind the fuzzies, I cleaned it. I cleaned the, the case. And I'm only gonna do this for 10 bucks, if anybody's interested. Sunglass case, okay. Lastly, we have a Brighton coin purse. How cute is this? The little leather, it's almost like got like graffiti, um, you know, style to it. And it zips open here. Super cute. And we're gonna do this one for 14. Okay, 
Now we have some shoes and then we will get into the mystery box from America's Thrift Supply. So let me bring everything closer and I'll be right back. Let's keep going. Remember guys to check that sold list down in the comment section before you email me. And the first pair of shoes we have are by Fry & Co, which is like a, a lower end version of Fry. So they are a beautiful green suede casual sneaker. There is a little mark on the back of this one right here. That's just a fuzzy. Um, they are in really nice condition. They are size eight. Green suede, dark green. Oh, look at the green. I'm, I'm going today with the green. Size eight, uh, Fry & Co. And we're gonna do these for $30. Okay, then we have a pair of cork ease. The, um, these I know are sandals, but I don't, you know, I buy, buy, I buy sandals all year long, list them all year long. People all over the world are experiencing different time, um, climates. So these are a silver patent leather. Cork ease is a really great brand and they are super comfortable and they resell really well. Um, there was a little bit of a mark here. These are a size 10 with a little bit of a heel, wedge heel. Otherwise, excellent condition. Little mark there. Size 10, and I'm going to do 25 on these. Then we have um, a pair of brand new Lucky Brand washable flats. So these are like a, I guess they're like a green too. Um, they're like a light green, almost beige taupe maybe. And they are washable. I've never seen that before for um, Lucky Brand. I don't know what that black spot is, but it's there too. These were never worn. They are a size nine and a half. And I'm gonna do these for $30. Super cute. Next up, we have a pair of Michael Kors little sneakers. Look how cute these are, you guys. They have like a like a um, wool type uh, fabric with the pearls. And I looked over the pearls. They all seem to be in good shape. Um, there's your Michael Kors on the side and on the back. These are super cute. These are a size eight. Adorable. Really nice condition. And I will do these for $30 as well. Then we have a pair. Okay, so these Allbirds, these sell really well. So if you guys ever find these and they're a good price, grab them. So these are um, like a wool very comfortable sneaker and they sell really well they they you know every time i found them they've sold like almost immediately on ebay um they are the dark gray and they are a size nine excellent condition and i will do these for thirty dollars as well then we have a pair of Sorrel. You guys, these are so nice. If they were my size, I'd keep them. I really cleaned these up and they came out absolutely stunning. Look at that. So these are a black leather ankle boot, wedge ankle boot with a little bit of gray up here. They are a pull on. They have, this is probably a three inch, three and a half inch heel. Here's your Sorrel. Gorgeous on the inside. I did, like I said, I did clean these up. These are a size nine. And I am going to do these for 40. Sorel is a really expensive brand and these are gorgeous. 40 bucks on those. Then we have, all right. <laughs> so I found two brand new pairs of Adidas sneakers or Adidas. Um, they are women's sizes. They are brand new. This is the Adidas or Adidas and 
Stan Smith, the um, prime green white sneaker. Absolutely stunning, brand new, even has the tag on it still. Okay, so these would make a great gift. Nope, oh, there's my price tag, my Goodwill price tag. <laughs> brand new, beautiful Adidas or Adidas Stan Smith. These are a size eight and I will ask $50. Hi Dallas, Dallas just came in from outside. So let me just shut the door. All done it outside. All right, hopefully you um, can just let me be for a quick second. I'm almost done. Then we have these, which are gorgeous. These are the Adidas Superstar with the um, neon orange. If they were, ugh, these were in my size, I'd keep them. These are a nine. Again, brand new, but they just don't have the tag like the other one. They are size nine in women's. Um, you know, if I think, I think that would be a size seven or seven and a half in men's. Um, you might have to check the uh, conversion. All right, brand new, and we're going to do these. These are size nine. So the the white Stan Smith ones were selling for $70 on eBay. I am offered them two for 50. These are selling for anywhere from 70 to 115. I'm going to offer them to you for 65, okay? Size nine. All right, guys, so I think that's everything. So let's see what America's Thrift Supply sent. So remember guys, if you're interested in trying any of their mystery boxes, they have a ton of different kinds of mystery boxes. They are available all the time. You don't have to wait for a certain day or time or anything like that. They do sell out, but they do restock. So you can join the mailing list and the wait list. And then when they restock, you'll get an email. Um, so this is the six purse box for $50, I think. So let's see. And remember, I have the code. Um, so at checkout, you can type Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-E-N, and you will save 15% on every purchase through the end of the year. Oh, maybe this is just the one. Oh, no, this is, okay, this is five. It just doesn't look like a lot. It's all right here. That kind of worries me a little bit. So it's five pieces, $49.99 plus shipping. Okay. Why is it in such a small bag? was kind of stuck on everything. I don't really know. This doesn't really feel the greatest. This feels very lightweight and inexpensive. Um, it looks like they just like drew that on there. Sarah Lloyd. You don't like it either, Dallas? <laughs> There's your interior. I mean, it's not in bad condition. I don't know who Sarah Lloyd is, so let me... I'll just put some information on the screen. I won't look it up now. I mean, it is in good condition. So I will look up who Sarah Lloyd is, and I will put a price for you right here. So that's number one. Number two is Peck and Peck. No idea, but let's see. It's a little um, like off-white leather. Let's see. Leather, okay. It's a little bent up, but it's a cute size. Okay. 
Um, there's a little mark right there. There's a little bit of wear on the handle right here. Discoloration, it's a little bit blue. There is, I just have to clean up the bottom, but there is a couple little marks. Um, I've never heard of this brand, Peck and Peck Collection. It's not horrible. There's a few little, you know, flaws. Um, let's just do 20 bucks. Okay, let's hope for a little bit better. What the heck? Durango? I know that's a car, but I mean, this looks like one of those little like tourist bags you would get like when you go on, like go to a different country. There's two zipper pockets here in the front. There's a lot of loose threads. Um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. I can just obviously cut those off. Zipper closure. Yeah, it's very lightweight and inexpensive. Looks like it's inexpensively made. I'll just do $5 on it, five bucks. Daisy Fuentes, new with tag, $39. Oh no, 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 this is a no. It is peeling. It's, it's all, all peeling. Peeling, no. I mean, it's fine on the inside, but no, 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 nope. So um, I don't even know if anyone would want this. Um, one dollar, one dollar. What are they doing? What happened to them? Children's Place. I mean, it's cute, but there's a big pen mark right on the pedal there. I mean, if you have a little granddaughter or daughter, it's not horrible. Five dollars. And then there's two more little things. Yeah. Like, what is this? Again, with the green, though. It's just like a little zippered pouch. Two dollars. Little rip curl wallet with some kind of juice there. I mean, it's not bad. Zippered cash slot. Got a bunch of pockets. It needs to be wiped down. Has the back zipper pocket. Five dollars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably because they're like, you know, we got to do something extra here. Um, I am not impressed with that one at all. Um, they had, I mean, I don't know what happened, but they had way better boxes. Um, it's been probably, I don't know, a month or two since I was able to get one because they've been sold out. So maybe they just are low on inventory to put in these boxes, but I was not impressed. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Be nice to me. <laughs> All right, did you guys have a favorite purse of the haul? What about the shoes? Let me know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Be nice. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. What a disappointment that box was. And we will see you in the next one.